Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial session on my YouTube channel. I am Mr. Olo and this is Mr. Olo Designs. Now in this tutorial video, we are going to be shifting away from CorelDRAW a bit and we'll be going over to Adobe Illustrator where I'll be teaching you how to create a fluid 3D design effect, a fluid 3D design effect that you could use on your designs and other aspects to add effects to your general graphic designs and other things to make your design beautiful, professional and giving it a little bit of aesthetics. So without further ado, let's jump right into this tutorial session. So as earlier stated, this is a design we'll be doing on Illustrator. So we already have our workspace set up for us and on Illustrator, I'll be working in 1000 by 1000 pixels, but in this case, I'm working in 1080 by 1080 pixels. And every other thing remains the same RGB and my resolution is set to 300 dpi. So quickly, the first thing we're going to be doing is you're going to be creating two circles. So all we need to do is we come to our, uh, to our rectangle tool where we have other uh, tools here. So we're going to choose the ellipse tool. So quickly, we're going to zoom in. We're going to zoom in that we create our ellipse tool a it doesn't doesn't have to be a particular shape okay uh, just or a particular size I mean and we created this tool um, now normally if you're using an illustrator for your very first time the first thing you're going to notice is that it's going to be empty for example it's going to be something like this okay so it's because we already uh, have a gradient for all that is why the gradient appeared so when you create your circle which is going to appear like this so the next thing you're going to do is now you've created your okay let's create on let's create it again when you create your circle now it's going to appear like this empty so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come here to appearance this is by the way this is Adobe Illustrator 2021 so you go to your fill okay you can either use there or you come here whichever case it may be then you go to your fill then we look for the gradient option because we want to make it gradient so we look for the gradient option so it gives us this gradient but we don't really want to use this gradient or preferably we could use this gradient for the first circle then we create another duplicate then we create a duplicate of this particular circle you just drag holding your shift key you drag to somewhere here then you use your alt your alternate key on your keyboard to make a duplicate now you are going to duplicate, we are going to change the gradient of this second one. So we go here to our fill, we go to gradient option because already selected as gradient. So we go to gradient options to bring out this tab. So from here, we can then easily change the gradient. So we are going to just select this and we are going to, there, there's a lot of gradient stuff here. So we're just going to select most of them and delete first and be left with maybe just, uh, okay. We can just be left with two, we delete this. So the next you're going to do is you're going to arrange it, make it balanced. Then we're going to change the color. So all you just need to do is you select here. Then you can we're going to ch choose this color. Okay, something a bit no. Okay, I think this is okay. You can use any gradient of your choice. Okay, you can use any gradient of your choice. So we're going to also do the same to you double tap to bring out this option. So we choose another gradient, maybe something close but similar. And then we have it and we can exit this panel here okay we can exit this panel so the next thing you're going to do is next thing you're going to do is you're just going to now um you're going to select both circles okay you're going to select both circles just highlight unlike correct draw that you have to map out everything like this before it can be well highlighted but in illustrator it doesn't work that way you can just slide through and it has been highlighted so the next thing you're going to do is so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to select both then you're going to go to your object object menu then you come to blend then you go to blend options when you click on blend options in your case you might end up needing smooth color but we're not using smooth color you just go to what specified distance you choose specified distance you leave it at one pixels you already have your one pixel then you select this one which is aligned to page not you're not going to choose this one you're not choosing align to part you're choosing align to page then you click on ok that is not the end you go back to object then you come to your blend then you go to make you go to make 
then we have this blended stuff done already so now we've blended this so the next thing you're going to do now is for us to now create this effect to 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 make sense in the work or to let's just create the effect all you just to do is go to your brush tool or your pen tool me i prefer using the pen tool you just create a fanciful line it doesn't have to be a specific line it doesn't have to be exactly like mine just create something that could help you create that effect okay um, just create something that will help you create that effect okay and there we have it so we're going to give it the stroke we're going to give it black so that we can be able to see what we've done okay okay let's reduce it a bit now we've done this, we just drag it here. So the next thing you're going to do now is you're going to select both of them. Okay, you're going to select both of them. So you select both, that means you're going to select the line you drew and this blended stuff you've done here. And you go to object, then you go to uh, blend, you go to blend, then you go to replace spine. You go to replace spine, not reverse spine, not reverse front to back, but to replace what spine. And there you have our effects simple and nice so you could you just you could export this effect as a png file and use it to add some sort of aesthetics to your design whichever case it may be but here you have your effects right now okay so this is a very simple way for you to do it it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be my style okay you can choose a different you can choose a different thing you could do it like this you could do something like this or you could do like this anyhow you want to do it it's your choice the most important thing is that you want to create something like this okay something like this that you could use spot it use in your different designs to do whatever you want to do so if you learned a lot from this tutorial video all you need to do is like this video so that it could get to a lot of people who would love to learn from this knowledge and also you could subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the notification bell icon when I release new videos. I'm hoping that I'll do something like this for Corredra, but let's keep our fingers crossed anyway. So until next time, stay safe and stay healthy. Catch ya!